this is internal organization of a wavefront object file. The lines that begin with the pound sign are comment lines. And the idea here is to describe every vertex that makes up our geometry. And so this is an example of a cube. So the vertices are all indexed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically we have a set of vertices that are numbered from 1 to 8. And these are the actual coordinates of these vertices. You can see the range of coordinates is from 0 to 5. And here we have the coordinates that correspond to specific vertex. Like this is the coordinates of the vertex 2 and this here is the coordinates for vertex 6. Okay, so we have altogether eight vertices. This G cube specifies a group of vertices that supposedly describe a single object. Um, a wavefront object file can contain multiple objects so you can have multiple groups in one file. Okay, then we specify the normal vectors. For the normals we have only six directions. Basically in the positive direction of x, positive y, and positive z, and the opposite, the negative directions of these axes. So this is why we have only six normals, whereas we have eight uh, unique vertices. So then comes the next section, and uh, in this next section we specify the faces. So faces are triangles, and the way they're specified each face is a triangle and this is the first vertex, this is the next vertex, and this is the third vertex. And the first number in each group here for each vertex are actually indices of our vertices. So for instance 1, 7, 5 is specifying triangle 1, 7, 5. So this triangle is on the back of our cube, therefore the normal vectors should be pointing in the negative direction. So we have to specify, we specify normals for every vertex. Uh, these vertices will be facing in the negative direction of coordinate z. And so the last number here is 2, 2, and 2. It's the same uh, normal vector with index 2. So if we look it up right here, so this is uh, the normal number 2, uh, and you can see that it's pointing in a negative direction of coordinate z. So it's basically the vector that's specifying this direction. Then if we look at the last face right here, the last triangle is formed by vertices 2, 8, and 4. So on this diagram you can see that this is uh, 2, 8, 4. This triangle, so it's front facing and the normals should be pointing in the opposite direction, basically in the direction of positive uh, z axis right here. So this normal is indexed 1, 1, 1, and 1. It's all the same normal for every vertex. So it's a uh, normal vector number one and it's pointing in the positive direction of z. So the delimiter between the index of vertex on this list and index of the normal vector on this list is using forward slash and you can see that there are two forward slashes. So between these two slashes we can also specify the texture coordinate that can map our textures to this shape. This cube object basically ignores texture coordinates, does not support them. So that's why we have two forward slashes without any texture coordinates. But uh, later on we are going to start using models that can be textured and they will have another component specified for each vertex, the texture coordinate. So this is the overall structure of wavefront object file, which is just a plain text with all of these parameters. To specify location of your object file, you need to provide a system path. So here in our laboratory, we have an example of a preprocessor macro, which is defined as a string 
like a path to the location of an object file and you can see that we have a variety of different objects in general if you jump to the models subfolder so we have our gl262 labs and under models you'll find plenty of these object files under lab 8 under object right here as well as under miscellaneous there's number of objects right here and also solar system we have a sphere here to build a solar system as well as sphere 3 subfolder with more models located here